Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Sockcore Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play Equestria Bound. Uh, we got bright light in front of us, but we also have the sunglasses from Celestia, which we can use to not only look cool, but just make them disappear, and we also lose the sunglasses. Now, I forget how much stuff I bought on screen besides lucky coins, but uh, off screen I bought the sugar packet for a particular reason later on. Uh, I've given Sweetie Belle the weather badge, and she also turns out needs the brainstone, and well, she still has those plush toys, surprisingly. Uh, I've got four bottle rockets for Bloom, and uh, including the one Sweetie Belle has, a total of five soft plush toys, so not that I really think I'll need them, but. This dungeon's not too bad, I suppose. I'm surprised I didn't meet anything right here. Almost always do. Now, over to the left there, we could, uh,. Well, there is a really good treasure over there, but just by getting to the boss, we're going to get there anyway, so. Several enemies in here, including the Olden Pony and the Thundermite. Uh, let's see, for the Thundermite there, just use Winter Beta and he's dead me. Uh, well, I do have all, all those items for Scootaloo, but I don't think it's totally necessary for this. Yeah, this is Winter Beta, and he should be dead meat, yeah? Oh. Well, I... Oh. You jerk! Wasn't expecting that. Anyway. Oh, sweet. Oh, good! IQ. What is my IQ now? Or Bloom's IQ, that is. 32? Cool. No, no, not to fix that other, that broken gadget, not that I really care. Now, nah, probably won't get in a fight with too many of them, will I? Yeah, I don't want to get in a fight with that many. Oh, well, I didn't need it that few. Oh, well. Okay, cool, cool. Not bad. Oh, baby! Alright, oh, baby! Oh, totally need that. Wow. Oh, but she was kind of already, like, there. Are you someone... Ooh, I almost got in a bad fight there. Different? Nope. Oh, well, for just you, yeah, little Beta will be fine. This is another really, really short dungeon, so... Now, in this dungeon, we're going to find these holes, which are kind of dangerous, because you never know what's going to be waiting for us. Like these guys! Got to be ready for that. Oh, really? Well, you know what? Let's have, uh... Oh, actually, no. You hit that one, and you go ahead and winter beta the other one. Actually, you know what? No. I changed my mind. You gamma that one, and you winter beta that one. Sweet! Worked out a little better than I thought. Ooh, worked out much better than I thought. Nice! Guess I didn't need to gamma after all. Oh well. Let's see if you get a sudden guts pill that I don't care about. This is the floor where we can spawn the magic butterfly, which is why uh, I don't mind using MP around here. Yeah, I could have used more of Scootaloo's MP, I suppose. Now, that'll just lead back down to, I think, one of the areas we just were at. Like, where we started. This will lead to another area we don't really care about, and this will lead to... Actually, not quite the boss, but... Let's see, where's that magic butterfly? It should respawn if I walk around enough. Anyway, how was my MP? Scootaloo's good now, but... Sweetie Belle's good enough, because I'm actually not going to go straight to the boss, even though it's kind of going to be, like, right there. Eek! Where's the other enemies? Oh, there we go. Conducting Menace. This guy, we also can just kill off with... I think we can kill him with... Winter Gamma, right? Otherwise, you can use the counter magic unit to block their magic attacks. 
but it's not guaranteed, so... I think this can one-shot him, right? I hope it one-shot... Oh, no, it doesn't. Trap. Okay, that's not quite what I was hoping for, but... Oh. Well, again, I guess I didn't need the gamma. Oh, well. Anyway, I got kind of fortunate there. Those guys can use lightning on you, so... Oh, baby! Wow. Big old oh, baby there. Ooh. Sweet. Very sweet. Nice, Dinky. Oh, Winter Gamma. Cool. I'll need that for the near future. And in this awesome chest, we get the Rock Candy, which is a awesome little item that allows you to... Uh, that will uh, randomly boost uh, speed, guts, vitality, IQ, or luck by one. Or, if you have a sugar packet or the jar of deli sauce, uh, it'll raise it by two. So, this is an item that we can abuse with the... Uh, condiment trick, which I'm actually not gonna do. I'll show it off finally in a bonus video next time, but uh, I'm not gonna abuse this uh, little trick here, but uh, I am going to make use of it by uh, save stating in my case, but you can just save normally. I want to try to get two vitality for Sweetie Bell there. Speed... no. Oop. <laughs> Wrong, uh... Oh, there we go. Vitality went up by two. Gonna need that. For my original idea is because there's a total of three rock candies, is I wanted to give two of them to Sweetie Belle and one to Bloom, but uh, things are different now with uh, Bloom and Scootaloo's upgrade, so I don't not sure necessarily what I'm gonna do. Now keep in mind that whole thing with the rock candy there, getting uh, plus two. It still only does plus one to Scootaloo. So, oh crap. Oh no! Seriously? Dinky! Oh! She's homesick! Crud! Okay. Yeah, one bad thing about the conducting menace there is that the, uh, it has flash, which is bad. Flash alpha. Oh man, Dinky's homesick! Drought it. Good thing I wasn't planning on sticking around. Dang it. So over here is the boss, Celestia. But, uh, yeah, I won't want to go there just yet, especially since I'm homesick now. Want to get this... Want to get this chest, which is present, which is a Pegasus Band, a unique uh, piece of equipment for Scootaloo there. Very nice. Not only... Did I give it to... Oh, it's a bat lock. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, not only does it raise her defense by a nice margin, but it also raises her luck. 46. I didn't actually look at what it was before, but yeah, it raises her luck, and it also gives her uh, protection from sleep by 90%, which, of course, will affect her brain shock uh, effectiveness, which she's now 50% affected by brain shock, which is kind of bad, but oh well. So I definitely want to get out of here and... Uh, Cure my homesickness, dang it. Because we're, like, right here at the end. There's still... Oh, sweet. Alrighty. Oh, baby. Oh, and I got yet another vitality. Oh, this is gonna be good. Ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> 32, alright. And we got offhand sub gamma, which I don't care... Or omega, which I don't care about. But, uh... Where's the other new guy? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Okay. Well, sweet. Oh, double sweet. Oh, all right. IQ, all right. Okay, good, good. Nice, nice. What's, uh... Oh, your HP is quite a bit higher than, uh... 14 compared to 11, huh? Well, Scootaloo's catching up nice, but anyway, I'm gonna go cure my homesickness as well as heal up, so uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that I'm back in this area, I definitely want to... Let's 
see. I think we're all cured already. I didn't end up fighting a terribly large number of enemies on the way. Hmm. Alright, I'll just get my, uh... Where's that other new enemy? Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Again! Alright. I kind of would like some vitality, though. But anyway, I definitely want to... Respawn that magic butterfly, because we kind of want to be at as close to full health as we possibly can. Oh, well, that wasn't much. Eh, good enough. Anyway, yeah, close to full health as we possibly can here. One, yeah, we're good. All right, so you guys are starting. Darn it! Particularly for Scootaloo, I might be able to get out of this area with full health eventually. I'm totally failing at it, but uh, I'll hopefully. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Okay. No enemies, no enemies, no enemies. Drat it. Oh well. Good enough. Good enough. It's only two. <sighs> yeah. Freaking flash beta. So that's what that looks like. Well, drat it. Does Scoot have. No, not yet. Dang it. To... Oh, and Sweetie Bell is. Crud. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna try that again. To, uh, I'll meet you here. <laughs> oh, crud. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm... Oh, there's the other guy. The, uh, kiss of death, I... It... Can it instant death you? Anyway, you! And your dang flash beta! <sighs> okay, um, what do I want to do for you? I don't want to use up Scootaloo's MP, so... You can die, Conducting Menace. I hate you. I hate you a lot. Oh, and can you believe it? As soon as I got back into the dungeon, Scootaloo got a level up, and not only did she gain two vitality, which is cool, but she also learned Healing Gamma, which can revive characters and heal paralysis! <laughs> oh, gosh. Wonderful, wonderful. Man. That freaking... Wait. I wanted you to hit... Oh, I guess I didn't. Never mind. Oh, Maybe I did need all those Southplus toys after all. Sheesh. Man, that sucked. Oh, wow. That was a lot of experience, though. Anywho... How close are we to full health here? Da -da -da, you're pretty close. I think I still have a spare. Yeah, magic caramel. I honestly use that in Sweetie Bell. Good enough. So, for this fight, I actually want to unequip the Pegasus Band, believe it or not, because she can use uh, Brain Shock, which is uh, bad. Because without that hypnosis protection, none of us can be affected by it, so... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Trelestia! So, we have Princess Celestia attacking us. And, uh... Celestia, while being immune to paralysis, uh, she can't. She is affected by Flash, including Flash Beta, which not only could potentially paralyze her, but also just instant kill her. I don't want to try to relying on instant killing or even accidentally instant kill her since I got over here. So I'm just going to try to put her, uh, make her cry because that'll protect me from her physical attacks. For the moment, I want to use Winter on Princess Celestia, and you may have noticed by now that I don't have my uh, Shield Killer with me anymore, because I tried using it on her, and it took five freaking turns to work, so yeah, I'm just going to use Neutralizer, because on this first turn, she's going to try, at least, to use uh, Shield Beta, if Scootaloo lets her. 
Oh, and Sweetie Belle, of course. Yeah, Sweetie Belle and Scooby Doo letter. Which is not, so. It still wasn't a waste of a turn, though. Sweet. Oh, good, she's crying already. Ha ha! Okay, so now. I'm just going to friend beta my way through the rest of this. I want Sweetie Belle to cast Magic Shields, uh. What is that? Sigma? Or something? Uh, and then. Start using those bottle rockets. And I need to use more Winter Gamma. She should be pretty much incapable of doing anything to us. The reason I'm casting the Magic Shield is because she can cast both Fire Beta and Fire Gamma, so. Uh huh. Cool. Oh, yeah, and she can do that. Turns out I actually didn't know that before. Oh, wow! Really? That was the weakest bottle rocket I've ever seen. Dang. But yeah, she can make you lose your senses, which is why Sweetie Belle needs to, uh. Well, I'm not gonna defeat her in five turns like I was expecting. Or five turns once I. Er, yeah. After I'm done with all my uh, bottle rockets there. Hmm. Oh well. Ha! Because she's crying. She has. She can't. Uh. Doesn't have much accuracy. If she was paralyzed, she wouldn't be able to do jack to us until she starts, uh. Using fire. Because she actually has kind of a set pa Again! What the heck, Bloom? Man, you're killing me here. Uh, well, anyway. Another bottle rocket. Time to make use of those storm in a bottles. Oh yeah! Ha ha! Can't hurt me. Yeah, after she's after the, she's gonna use fire gamma on the next turn, and then she should follow a brain shock. So, which won't have any effect on it. What the heck, Bloom? You're getting all the low numbers, really? I think I was expecting like four hundreds, and dang it, you're killing me, Bloom. Oop! What am I? Oop! Dang it! Uh-huh. Fortunately, it'll still stay up for another turn, so I don't need to reinitiate it anytime soon. I should kill her long before she starts doing fire again, so... Am I out of, uh, bottle rockets now? Yeah. Well, that was not very good, Bloom. I'm sad by that. Anyway... I was expecting you to defeat her on this turn. Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I still am. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, she would have used Brain Shock on that tur turn, but I guess it didn't matter. Sweet! Look at all that experience. Oh, IQ need that. Okay, cool. Offense, luck, HP. Okay. Oh, not Bloom, huh? Fine. Oh, that wasn't a very good level up. Huh. Not bad, not bad. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, jeez. We get the, uh... Well, the sun, I guess. Pink cloud, as it was called in the original. Alright, so now on the way out, you know, all the enemies are running away from us now, so it's really easy to... There we go. To, uh... Get experience points and, you know, ultimately level up. Like this. Sweet. Ooh, more IQ. I have enough for that, uh... You have to fix that broken gadget now, but I don't really care at this point. It only raises her... It'll... She'll fix it into a weapon that only raises it by, like... Her offense by, I think, like, nine... Or seven, actually. So, yeah, it's not really that big a deal. But, uh, how soon till Scootaloo levels up again? Oh, they're actually all gonna level up pretty soon. Oh, Scootaloo, you're quite a bit further away than I thought there. 
Oh, well, anyway, yeah, I'm going to kind of just run into... Not you guys. I don't I don't want to fi fight that many. I mean, even though I get to getting green on you, but yeah, I'm going to kind of go back and forth until at least Scootaloo gets one more level up, just kind of because. And uh, then we'll finally continue on our adventure next time on Let's Play Equestria Bound. Oh, it's you guys again. Arrivederci!